Are you getting poisoned? Short answer, probably yes. If you want to know more, stay tuned to find out. That's some really, really good coffee, Lambo. Tastes a little funny. Did you add something new? It's good though, it's good. Th thanks for the coffee, brother. I appreciate it. We got Lambo out here representing making some of the best coffee in all of Mexico. But anyways, that's what you guys, welcome back guys. I know that's not what you guys came here for. You guys aren't here to, you know, see me talking to my horse. Or maybe you are. But <laughs> that's not what we're here to talk about. In fact, what are we here to talk about today? Well, we're here to talk about, you know, exactly what the title of the video says. Are you being poisoned? Am I being poisoned? Are we being poisoned? And, you know, just like you got from the very beginning of the episode, uh, you know, the short answer is yes. Most of you guys already know the answer is yes. And um, we're going to be talking about various different things in today's episode um, as to the poisoning of the mind, of the human mind in today's world. Um, but the reality is, is that there's a lot of ways in which we are constantly being poisoned every single day. Whether you're being poisoned by the food you eat, by the water you're drinking, by the information that you're ingesting because of, uh, you know, things like um, you can't trust where, you know, the news is coming from anymore, right? I'm trying to, you know, play by, by the rules here, you know what I mean? I'm trying to um, watch my words, which again, it's part of the poisoning process. As you guys already know, we're all poisoned one way or the other. And, um, you know, someone like me, I'm in the process of detoxing like I'm sure some of you guys are and we're all in different levels of the of the detox right now but even as I'm going through this detox you know sometimes uh, certain things are uh, you know they're just a little hard for me to talk about I want to make sure that as many people as possible get to watch a video like this so you know it, this is the world that we're living in right now we're living in a poisoned world and unfortunately since we're living in a poisoned world you know we need to you know know that we're living in a poisoned world because you know for anyone that's living in a poisoned world or in a poisoned environment or in just in a in, 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 in a very bad environment you know and you don't know anything else then how do you know that you're even being poisoned and that's basically what what happens you know what's happening right now you see when I first um, thought about what I was going to talk about today the the reality was that yesterday I was listening to Joe Rogan and he had on, you know, let me let me get the name right. But he had on Ben Westhoff, okay? And he was literally talking about, you know, what's going on with the fentanyl crisis, the opium, I mean, op the, the, the heroin problem, and, and, you know, in the U.S. right now. And, you know, the reason I bring up opium, because, you know, that, that's basically what this is. It's opium, you know, it's the opium poppy fields, right? You know, where um, these uh, plants are, you know, get extracted, you know, of their you know um stuff <laughs> and that is what makes um you know heroin and what makes a lot of these you know very hardcore drugs you know basically i mean that's where you know it all comes from but what what's uh what i learned from this podcast you know like a lot of us are learning every single day you know we're just waking up on different you know um on different levels and different things there's just so much to talk about out here but you know one of the things that i learned from this podcast and from this guy was the fact that over there in china you know they're the main manufacturers of not just fentanyl which is like the number one major fucking killer right now in the u.s but pretty much all of the hardcore synthetic drugs that you know not just the u.s ingest on a daily basis but a good majority of the world ingest so you know I, I watch all kinds of channels you know so I, I, earlier today i was watching um these two guys that are a uh, south african and another one that's american but they both live in china and um you know they talk about you know their experiences there just like i talk about my experiences out here living in mexico but you know just the fact that you know in china it is very common for anyone from any country to get caught with drugs uh, by the way, the only way you're going to get caught with drugs is assuming you have them on you. But the point is, is that they're very crazy strict when it comes to the drugs law, drug laws out there. And there's plenty of people, as they were, you know, talking about earlier today, I'm um, saying, you know, er, lots of people that, you know, from Canada, from England, from whatever, you name the country that, you know, were in China, um, were caught with drugs, 
and you know a lot of them are, are um, serving severe penalties you know up to like 10 years of prison time and in some cases even the death penalty so somewhere like China which is crazy strict with drugs you know they're crazy strict with these drugs on their population but when it comes to them creating and building um, these um, these infrastructures in order to um, make drugs and sell drugs abroad they actually do the complete opposite where they not only do they allow these pe people entities corporations whatever to function within China um, you know to create all these fake and um, very very harmful drugs like like fentanyl um, not just make them and create them but to you know export them and in many cases you know they um, you know some of these companies that are in China actually get um, they get um, incentives from the government um, just like um, you know uh, things happen here in the US you know where corporations get incentives from the government to do these things so they get um, subsidies from the Chinese government these corporations get subsidies from the Chinese government in order to make these you know um, synthetic drugs these um, hardcore drugs and then send them over to China so today's I mean that was basically what, what I wanted to talk about today the fact that you know th there's a new opium war happening in the 21st century all right and the new opium war is happening backwards you know meaning that you know if you know anything about history and you know about the original opium wars that happened in China you know that was the way you know short version that was the way in which the English um, Empire was able to conquer China because what basically what they did is that they got everyone in China hooked on opium and they all became useless fucking idiots and they basically took over I mean how the fuck do you think England got Hong Kong how the fuck do you think that they had so much influence in that part of the world and in, in, in India and all these other things but you know we're just talking about China opium wars and all this other stuff and let's not get too sidetracked here but you know that's basically what happened and now you know what is happening in today's lifetime and in today's world in the present is the fact that now China is doing that same tactic on the US and, and on Europe and other countries um, so basically what's happening now is that China is manufacturing this opium or this opium is being manufactured in that part of the world which by the way you know let's talk about North Korea for one millisecond but you know the main reason that you know North Korea is such an important spot for the US is because just like Afghanistan what the fuck do you think that they're growing out there in North Korea yeah opium so a good majority like I want to say 90% of all the opium in the world comes from Afghanistan and North Korea now the other stuff comes from China whether they're growing it there or they're just illegally creating it it doesn't fucking matter you know the point is that you know there's all kinds of illicit drugs that are coming from China that are not even drugs so for example like marijuana that's something that just grows out of the earth but in China they actually you know create synthetic marijuana that is pure poison but again we're not talking about that you know I like I, again I feel like um, I'm just focusing on the Chinese opium wars and what's happening there because you know that's basically what I wanted to talk about today but as I was um, you know doing a little bit of research myself going down the rabbit hole and then a few of you guys out there in today's discord you know just talking to me about certain things you know were asking me about fluoride and asking me about all these other things and then I realized oh wait a minute yeah let's not forget the chemtrails let's not forget you know how we're being poisoned how we're all poisoned in the US right now um, due to the fact that you know again you, you, you don't know what to believe anymore I definitely can't believe the mainstream media anymore because again it's all poison um, and um, you know just when it comes to like the fluoride in the water you know like um, you, you, when you start going down the rabbit hole fluoride you know you're like oh my god I don't want to use fluoride on my on my toothpaste and then you realize like oh wait a minute fluoride is supposed to be in the toothpaste that's the only place fluoride is supposed to be and then you see it's like oh wait a minute there's fluoride in our water ah and then you start drinking bottled water but then you soon you soon realize like wait a minute even if I'm drinking um, water that comes from the spring mountain that is like not touched by anything or anyone um, you know the reality is is that you know all the food that you eat you know everything out there has, has either been cooked 
in the fluoride, fluoride, fluoridated water, has been washed in the fluoridated water, has been treated with the fluoridated water, and at the end of the day, the more you really look and go down this rabbit hole, it's literally almost impossible to not be poisoned by something out there. Like again, unless you are very well off, pretty wealthy, and make a concerted effort to really, you know, make sure that all your water, all your food, everything you consume is 1,000% clean. You know, the mo the you know the reality is is that most people, no matter how clean they're trying to eat or be, no matter how vegan, no matter what the fuck they're trying to do there, it, it, it's it's not happening. It's just not happening. You're you're being poisoned constantly. And you know, again, assuming that you do have a very very clean diet. Well, all you gotta do is look up to the sky and you know, you see plenty of chemtrails that are there to protect us, right? Again, you know, that's another rabbit hole. We're not gonna go down that one. But you know, you already know that the air is being polluted. You already know that um, the ground is polluted, the food is polluted, the water is polluted, um, the information that you are ingesting is polluted. Um, you know, let's take the water pollution a little bit further. You know, even if you've never touched a drug in your life, you still ingest drugs on a daily basis, especially if you're drinking water from the local manipulative, man, manipulative, if you, and, and fuck the drinking the water, if you're taking a shower, all right, you're being poisoned. And let me explain why, because, you know, right now, you know, again, don't take my word for it. You can do all this research on your own. It's not that hard to find. Pretty much every single water municipal, municipality, sorry, my English, not so good sometimes, but every water treatment plant on, on in the U.S., um, or every water source in the U.S. has been, um, for the most part, has been um, checked, you know, um, to see how the water is, you know, to see how poisoned the water is, see what's in the water. And a good majority of the water um, in the U.S. right now is poisoned. And then forget the fluoride, literally the every single um, American that takes drugs, whether they're taking actual, you know, hardcore drugs like heroin or or whatever the fuck, or they're actually taking just prescription drugs, which that's about everybody out there. Whether you're taking, you know, antipsychotic pills, or whether you're just taking something like fucking Lipitor, it doesn't fucking matter. The point is, is that when you piss and take a shit, it all goes into the same system. And no matter how they, how clean they clean that water, they cannot get rid of all of this residue that is left from all of this poison that you guys are ingesting. So even if you're living the most clean life possible, you're still getting poisoned. You mean, whether it's you're getting rained on, whether you're taking a shower, whether you're whatever, unless you have like a super crazy water pure, you know, purification system in your home, which again, you're gonna have a few bucks for that. Um, you know, you most likely you're being poisoned by the water, no matter what you do. And again, you know, we can keep going down this rabbit hole. It doesn't matter how, you look at it, you're getting poisoned one way or the other. And, um, you know, even back in the day, look, for example, let's go down cigarettes. You know, I used to be a, a habitual cigarette smoker. I used to be a, a, a chef, you know, basically. So I, you, you can already picture me smoking, you know, taking my smoke, smoke breaks every other five minutes, whatever. Anyways, um, yeah, I was a chain smoker, I was everything. But you know what really got me? I mean, there's a, it's a story as to how I got off of cigarettes. By the way, if you guys wanna know, let me know in the comments and fuck it, I'll make a video about how I got off of cigarettes, all right? But the point is, is that, you know, I don't smoke cigarettes anymore, period. And, um, you know, those are, uh, um, you know, there's a story behind as to why I don't smoke cigarettes, but basically, you know, the the short version was the fact that, look, I'm Cuban. I like tobacco. I mean, you know, I smoke blunts for crying out loud. I don't put tobacco in my blunts for anyone asking. But the point is that I like tobacco. I enjoy the smell. I enjoy everything. So, you know, that's basically why I got into smoking, you know, especially coming out of Miami, being a chef. It was just one of those fucking things everybody smokes out there. So, whatever, you know. Um, it wasn't a thing. It wasn't like a major... You know, it just happened, you know, uh, but the point I'm trying to get at is the fact that as I would smoke, as the years would go on, I started moving from just regular camels unfiltered. Yeah, like I said, I like tobacco all the way through, you know, all the filtered ones and I smoked all kinds of brands and eventually I stopped smoking. Why? Because when I got into smoking, I was smoking tobacco or at least something that was more closely resembling tobacco. Um, as of today, you know, if you go to any cigarette, if you look at any, if you, you know, really, you know, um, do the chemical compound of a cigarette, it's barely any real tobacco in there. I mean, not only is it sprayed with tons of chemicals, um, not just 
nicotine and other chemicals to get you addicted to it and the whole process is being you know sprayed with these chemicals literally from seed to plant to the to drying to the creation of the cigarette i can go on and on you know it's 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 it's, it's beyond sick but as the years have gone on and all these rules and regulations have hit the industry, you know, all of a sudden now, if you guys are old enough to remember, I remember one of the things about smoking was that, oh, you know, don't smoke because you could fall asleep while you're smoke while you have your cigarette and it could fall and cause a fire and you die. You notice that you don't hear about them. In fact, you probably haven't heard that and if you're a millennial, you never heard that. But if you're my age, what's the last time you fucking heard that? Well, because one of the things that they did to cigarettes was add an anti- it was a fire retardant, fire retardant chemical to a cigarette. Now think about it. A cigarette is tobacco that you light with fire and you smoke. Yet they added a chemical to the cigarette that doesn't allow it to burn. But it still burns. But yet that's why when you're smoking a cigarette, if you kind of like leave it for a few seconds or a few little bit, it turns off. You're smoking that. You're inhaling that alongside with all the other fucking chemicals that God knows what else is in there. So, you know, why I stopped smoking cigarettes? Because it wasn't a cigarette I was smoking anymore. I was, I, I would, I would, it was literally like smoking uh, a, a pipe, a chemical pipe coming from uh, some sort of, uh, you know, chemical factory. It wasn't tobacco anymore, it wasn't, it just wasn't. And that can go on and on, you know, again, with so many things that are like that. Okay, seriously, it doesn't matter what you're ingesting right now, most likely it is poisoned all right and so the thing is that you know i don't like just making videos about all of this poison i mean about any subject like this to try to cause any alarms or ring any bells and then have you guys in panic mode because you know what the mainstream media and other outlets out there do plenty of that i like to not just make videos about this stuff to alarm the the bells you know sound the the alarms you know so that you guys can listen to it pay a little bit more attention to it in case you haven't already but basically you know offering a solution I like to offer solutions so what did I do well first of all I started educating myself once I started educating myself I didn't stop educating myself and I started figuring out you know not only you know that I was being poisoned but what I needed to do on a personal level to get out of this poison and no, you know to give you a short story you know to give you a short version of uh, my long story you know basically no matter what I did in the US to get away from all this poison I never was able to get fully 100% completely away from the poison it wasn't until I moved to Mexico that all of a sudden I got away from the poison and I didn't even know until I got here and it was all basically everywhere first of all I look up to the sky I don't see chemtrails. Sure, I'll see a chemtrail from time to time, but again, it's it's like maybe once every few months, as opposed to you know several every hour of the day. All right. So right off the bat, no no um, no poisoning there. When it comes to the water, I get my water straight from the from the filtering place or whatever. No poison there, as far as I know. Um, when it came, when it comes to the food, you know, a good majority of the food out here is basically organic. Because it's cheaper to because everyone out here grows or has some sort of uh, you know situation here, and I notice because when I go to the market and I buy a banana, it is completely different than the bananas I get at Walmart. Sometimes I have to go to Walmart to purchase things, but I'm quickly reminded there's no bueno, and it goes along the lines with everything. So I, here I buy a chicken egg from the local person, and you know the the, the yellow on the egg is like this you know like a bright yellow like this it's, it's pretty nice it's, it's insane you know you, you gotta pay a lot of fucking money to get yellow eggs like this in the u.s not here here they just cost you know pennies um you know uh, when it comes to other things you know even when i'm reading the ingredients on things like you know brands that are you know u.s type brands like this by the way obviously it's named something different or something like this Again, you know, if you look at, you know, Lay's potato chips back in the U.S., you know, there's a lot of ingredients here. You want to know the ingredients here? Look, you can read it yourself in Spanish, right there. Okay? Potatoes, salt, vegetable oil. All right? That's it. And the same thing goes with this shit, okay? This is obviously poison, but at the very least, you know, it's, it's at least, you know, it's, it's made like it used to be made before, uh, 
you know, they added all the chemicals. So, you know, it's again, all because a lot of these chemicals are banned out here in Mexico and in most of these countries out there. So, you know, that's the, sh I mean, at the end of the day, you know, there, there is poison out here, but it's completely different. But for example, you know, if I'm gonna get honey, I pay $2 for this thing full of honey. And you better believe you know where this came straight out of the bee's ass. I know, I was trying to be funny, but this is straight up fucking, you can drink this whole thing like maple syrup. This shit is good. And how much you think this cost me? Two US dollars. Two US dollars for all of this honey. By the way, it was a little more, but whatever. Okay? Just to give you guys some, uh, all right? To pr some perspective on these things, all right? For example, I was talking to somebody about, you know, calcium. Somebody was asking me about like, oh, calcium, and we have calcium deficiencies and calcium this and blah, 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 blah. When you do the research, you figure out that the reality is, is that there's plenty of calcium to go around. There's calcium in everything that you eat. You, we have, we ingest plenty of calcium. The reason is, that, I mean, the reason that we can't process or, in, or really um, take in all the calcium in our body as we're supposed to is because we're missing this. But they're never gonna tell you this on the fucking news or on TV or anything like that. And what is this? It's magnesium. How much did this cost me for a, a fucking month's supply? Two dollars. Two dollars for, for a month's supply. And it's actually cheaper. I, I get this because it comes in pill form. But I can actually go to the doctor and get it in the powdered form. All right? And digest it like that for 50 cents. But the point is that you need magnesium. If you don't have magnesium, then you can't really, um, you know, process the calcium. So you can, you know, take all the calcium, 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 and your body's not really taking it in. It's because it, it needs magnesium. Without magnesium, it, your body cannot, um, you know, ingest, cannot process, cannot take in the calcium. And that's the thing. We all have, most of us in, in the U.S. and in, in the world, but basically in the U.S., have a magnesium deficiency. And again, guys, I can go on and on and on but that's again today's episode is basically to wake you guys up a little bit remind you guys that we're being poisoned and even though you guys are going down the rabbit hole and watching youtube videos like this one in order to unpoison to do to detox your mind from a lot of these things a lot of these things the thing is that you got to detox your your whole body all right you got to detox your um, what is it? Your your consumption of water. You got to detox your consumption of food. You got to detox everything. Everything needs to be detoxed. It's not just here. The air that you breathe and so on and so forth. In fact, I really didn't start getting healthier until I moved out here, because out here I have less stress. Okay, that's also part of the poisoning. Um, you know, all of a sudden now I am not being poisoned on a daily basis, you know, by all the propaganda happening in the U.S. I'm not poisoned by the food that I eat because again, in the U.S., you know, even things that are labeled organic or labeled, uh, whatever, they're still poisoned and they still have chemicals and they still have all these things. And then we, again, you can go down this rabbit hole on your own, but you already know that you can't even trust anything that you eat in the U.S. period in the story. So out here. You know, in order for me to actually get something that's severely processed, I actually got to go out of my way, which I, I do, by the way, I do. So I purchase things like this, which my girlfriend hates. My girlfriend fucking hates that I eat these things. But this is, you know, like um, their version of fucking uh, Twinkies or Ho-Hos or, or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, seriously. But I love these fucking things. I love these things. But this is my addiction to the chemicals still. Again, you read this shit and it's basically chemicals. But everyone knows that. Everyone that eats these things fucking knows that, all right? Why do you think that Mexican Coke is so good? Because it doesn't have all the chemicals in it. It's just fucking sugar water. And I'm not saying that that's getting good either, but it's a little better. And, and, and just so many things like that, you know? The, 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 you know, the thing is that like, the, the reason that I'm making this video is because the short answer to the beginning of the video, which I was asking the question, are, we, are you being poisoned? The short answer is that, yeah, you are being poisoned. Most of you, everyone is poisoned, and we're being poisoned. And even myself, that I'm trying to get away from all the poison, we're still getting poisoned. But what can you do about it? The thing is that you can actually do a lot about it. A lot. Okay? You can start the process when you're living in the U.S., and eventually, if you really want to take it seriously and things start getting worse, well, you can move out of the U.S. and live somewhere where you will, you know, where your health will be the number one priority in your life.
you know, right now, you know, the health, health, health in my life was never like necessarily a number one priority. Now at the age of 38, and um, the fact that, you know, life is awesome, I'm realizing, holy shit, I gotta take care of myself better. And I, I take care of myself pretty good. Again, I gotta do an episode in the future, a little throwback Thursday episode, but I, I used to be a crazy, you know, way bigger. I used to weigh um, close to 300 pounds. I'm at 200 right now. I've been at 200 for a very long time, and I've never gained that weight back, all right? We can go, you know, talk about that another day. Again, leave in the comments down below if you want to hear that story, if you want to hear my weight loss story. I haven't done that because, well, you know, everyone and their mother has already done that. But if you want to hear my weight loss story, I'll make a video about it. But yeah, I mean, basically, I mean, then that weight loss story wasn't something that happened overnight. It was like almost like a fucking eight, ten year period time span, okay? With a lot of bumps in the road and a lot of failure. But hey, I made it. I'm here. I'm happy, but I still want to get healthier. I still want to get better. I still want to, you know, continue this, all right? So, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. I enjoyed making it. It was actually pretty fun. I came in um, wanting to talk about, you know, the new opium wars and all this stuff, but, you know, basically, I just made a really cool episode, and, um, you know, I kind of miss making these episodes. So, um, let me know what you guys think. If you guys enjoy these kind of episodes um, or not, um, I really did do think you do like these episodes. For a while, I was thinking that you guys weren't enjoying these kind of episodes, but you guys, every the last time I posted one of these episodes talking about, you know, the real reason I left the U.S. or whatever, you know, any one of these titles that I choose, you guys actually resonate a lot with it and enjoy that episode very much. So please let me know because you guys are my guide to what kind of videos I make for the most part. Basically, I mean, you know, honestly, you know, to tell you the truth, um, I just love making videos. I love talking. I love all of this. Um, I, I love talking about these subjects a lot more than, you know, talking about Mexico. But again, I talk about anything and everything. I love talking, period. <laughs> So the point is, is that, you know, I would rather make a lot of these videos, but hey, I, I want to make sure that you guys want to hear a lot of these things or you guys want to, um, you know, you guys like or enjoy these videos so I can, you know, be encouraged to make more of them. Also, there's going to be a lot more things coming from this channel in the very near future. Not sure if we're going to see them um, in the next month or two, but for sure by the time next year rolls around, we're going to be seeing a lot of changes. Um, I'm still going to be uploading every day, but I'm going to be doing even more a little bit more marketing. I think I'm going to start going back to making little clips. I'm going to start, you know, being more active on Instagram by posting these little, you know, previews, little clips. And um, I'm also going to start doing that with YouTube as well because, you know, I feel like there's a lot of, uh, you know, information, a lot of gold, you know, that comes from these videos. And uh, sometimes I, I talk so much that it gets lost in the void unless you listen to the whole thing. So I'm thinking to myself, you know, hey, why not start making these things into little sound bites, little clips, get people hooked, and get them here. So again, you know, then just be expecting that. Again, if you know me and you know this channel by now, the reason I'm telling you guys is because once I tell you guys, I don't have any more excuses. I have to do it. If I don't tell you guys, well, I just keep making excuses, you know, and uh, keep pushing it, keep pushing that, keep, keep kicking that can down the road until eventually, whatever. But. All right, guys, it's enough. We're already reaching 30 minutes. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I want to give a big shout out to all my patrons, all the old patrons and all the new patrons. I want to welcome all of you guys and say thank you to all of you guys. And awesome, you know what I mean? Now, seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to everyone out there that is constantly sending a few bucks, sending Bitcoin, sending Digibyte, sending love. Love all of you guys too. Lambo loves you guys. We all love you guys. Seriously, thank you. And um, if you want to hear or, or, know, or if you want any more suggestions, I mean, if you want to see more videos on certain topics, please let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the Discord. Let me know on Instagram. Let me know. Just let me know. There's a million. All the links are at the bottom of where you can reach me. Let me know. And especially if you post them in the community, even better. That way we can have a conversation on this going. But please, you know. Um, I always have topics to talk about, but it, it actually helps me more if there's topics that you guys want to hear me talk about. So please help me with that so I can help you. Help me help you. All right? Guys, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. And that's it. Most importantly than anything else, please stay awesome. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys manana. Hey guys, me and Lambo are still here. Show's not over. Just wanted to give you guys a quick reminder to please check out the online store where you can find all kinds of awesome merch. Also, 
check out joseantiaga.com where you know it's the website for me and all this other stuff so also you know check out discord it's an online community in which everyone all my fans hang out again just you know look at the click at the link at the bottom description of every video here um, where you can just join the community and join and continue the conversation where we talk about you know all this and beyond so please don't forget to check us out there check me out on instagram check me out on twitter check me out everywhere in fact always look at the description of every video you can find all kinds of stuff at the bottom of the description of every video again i'm always giving you all kinds of goodness so you know whether you're checking the description of the video or whether you're watching the next video which you're going to see some here now you're going to have all kinds of fun so again thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys when you